All right, so fall has begun and it's leaf season. And here lately, I've been looking at my mower and my bagger unit is definitely sagging big time. It's not supposed to do that. So what has happened as this mounting plate, it's, it's bolted right inside here. It's bolted to uh, the bottom tab, kind of like a trailer hitch. And this top piece is just a flat iron, comes over and it holds on there. And there used to be a bolt with a tab coming over and holding all this down. Well, that is busted off. And that's what's, that's what's going on now. So we got it's actually rounded that's way too much and on this side it's actually worn through this end is very thin and it started splitting this and tearing that so uh, easiest route I think is I'll come up from this line here and I'm just gonna cut straight across and weld a piece of new steel with the angle over to uh, cradle that. So let's get started. All right, so I got a white line scribed on there and it's gonna hit that with cutoff wheel on the grinder. And I have it propped up jack stand at the right height to keep it, keep it level. And with the bolt in the hitch and this at this corner where most of the weight is, that should stay just fine because right now it's actually not touching that upper part right there. So the part we're gonna cut off is not even touching right now anyways. So let's go ahead and get it with the uh, cutoff wheel. All right, so as an OCD person, I'm second guessing everything. Uh, I did find this nice sturdy piece of uh, you know, eighth inch steel. It's not an angle iron, but it is welded. Um, so what I do is, this is the long part, and then this here, I'll just trim probably in half so it resembles this piece right here. The other thing I got thinking of, if I weld that on top, I'm still going to have this gap here. So what I may do is come down and grind this down. First I'll cut this, probably right at the, the piece of square tubing, and just take that all the way across instead of right here and then come in and grind this a little bit lower so that this part here will sit right on top of this and that way it won't go back and forth like it is now it'll it'll sit flush on top and oh what is that oh my wife brought me dinner thank you love so we'll let that cool down now we'll do some more drawings but yeah I think that'll if I can take this thicker metal all the way back to here, that will make a, a better bracket and it'll last longer. And there's our other cat. Hi, pretty. So, girly. Come check it all out. We'll give a helping hand. That's our Siamese. She's a sweet 16 this year. So, she's a good girl. Yes, you are. All right, let's get a cutting.
we go. Success. You can see where that was worn down over the years and is actually cracked. So this is fairly thin metal. That's only maybe a sixteenth of an inch, maybe an eighth. But you can see how it bent over the years. That's supposed to be straight across. So yeah, that is definitely bent and worn out from there. Even bent this thing a little bit. This just this was supposed to be straight. So I get this off of here, take this section and this section and go down a little bit with the grinder so we can put our thicker piece of steel in its place. All right, so we got that all cut out. Now we're gonna grind on the ends here and make that lower or low enough to where it's flush with this. So just got a little bit to go. And then we'll weld, cut the new piece to size and then weld it on. So I ground also on here, so when I do the welding, it'll have clean metal to bite onto. All right, so now we gotta cut the other piece, the new piece, to size. Okay, so I got the piece cut out. I ground this uh, to bare metal so I could get a good clean weld in there to fortify that and stitch that up. Uh, that has one already on the inside. I may grind down on that a little bit so that it makes a nice right angle on this. Um, this is actually about an inch and a half to here and I was going to go like this with it but upon further investigation I would have to cut here and then also here to make it fit in there. I, I, eh, I'd have to notch that. I could go back to where it would sit right here but I'd rather butt weld that so I can get the right height I need. So what I'll probably do is instead of this, I'll do this. Because this is the right distance for that right there. That puts me right about where I need to be. So instead of making two cuts, what I'll do is I'll just cut this one instead. And then that way it'll sit like that. And then that'll work out much better. So cut once is better than cut twice. So let me get that sized up, scribed out, cut down, and uh, we'll test fit it. All right, so I got this laid in here. I'm trying. I can't. I got a dilemma. Unless I loosen that bolt, I can't get this up high enough. See how it's touching back here but it's got a gap right there. I need to raise this up. I can raise it up on one side, but then I gotta pull it down to get the other side to do the same thing. So maybe I'll just do one side at a time, push down on this and then that other side will come up. But no, it won't because it'll already be welded to that. Um, I figure something out. Uh, as far as the gap here, I do have a bit of gap there. Uh, I don't know if I want it just to lay on there or if I want it tight, tight, tight up against there. I may uh, grind a little bit out of here. That way it'll be closer and less slop sliding around. And I don't want it super tight because then this won't mount. I need a little bit of slop in it to keep it on here. So it's, it's a fine line between the two. So this is pretty close. I'm gonna start welding. Not too shabby. A little bump here. 
Okay, so I got got a stitch on both sides. Now I'm going to stitch it in between. You don't want to put a bunch of weld on one end because it'll make this end pull apart. So I'm going to stitch, 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 and then tack it in each of these places so that it doesn't pull and warp on the opposite end. And then that'll hold it in place and then we can fill in the gaps. So I'm going to clean that off and then uh, go ahead and stitch all the way across it. All right, so here's the finished product. <laughs> it's it's kind of ugly, this MIG welder, I don't know. Uh, I got halfway through it, I was doing fairly well, and then this spool ran out. So I had to go stop what I was doing, go buy another one. So I got a little way across there. Um, definitely need to slow my wire down. I couldn't tell as I was going, and it started getting crooked because I couldn't see, even I had this light on there, and I'd have to I'd get a nice bead going and then stop and then it's crooked. So forgive the welds. Uh, on the top here, that went a, a little better, but it was definitely uh, too much wire feed uh, how, as to how high it is, you can tell. Uh, that should be flatter and more in the, the groove. So um, I'm, I'm getting better with this welder. Seems like every time I get used to one kind of wire, it runs out and then I'm in a pinch and have to go grab another one. The place uh, I think is actually Harbor Freight. Uh, and of course, as soon as I run out, I give them a call and they're closed for the night. Of course. So this one's done. Uh, it's not pretty, but it'll definitely hold. And it's definitely stronger than it was from the factory. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you got any comments or questions, leave them down below. Thanks for watching. God bless.